personally just love touring, so it gives my life structure. <laughs> um, <laughs> as much as the road is a, a strange place, and you know, I mean, with OLP in our van, we put like 200,000 kilometers on the van before we even got in a bus. So uh, I think, much like you guys, we our, our first really serious tour was opening for, for Ed and I, Mother Earth, and uh, that was a baptism of fire because they were just such a blazingly good live band. I heard they chose us for a few shows that they did in the uh, Southern Ontario region, and so uh, we were more than honored and tickled pink, actually, to be, p to be playing with them. The venues uh, in Toronto at the Cool House and in Kingston at the K-Rock Center both went really well. They were a lot of fun. Um, we felt their fans and our fans really worked well together, and uh, I met them many years ago when my previous band was making our first record in L.A. Uh, they were recording their first record beside us in the same studio, so there was a little camaraderie there, a little pool playing, basketball, 21 really. And I uh, haven't seen them really since, so it's kind of nice to see them in person again. Fail blog on YouTube. <laughs> it's the best. It's We're like, all about feeling better about whatever goes wrong in your life. It's like, yeah. well, at least I'm not that loser. It's like The last sort of new music discovery I made was through a friend, a band called Fen Farlow, which she's like a total indie kid and, and I wouldn't have bumped into it otherwise. I guess it was Ian Thornley's Tiny Pictures. I really like that CD and Ian's great, so I like singing along with it. That's in my car right now. On the road, you look for a good club sandwich because no matter where you are, it's really hard to screw up a club sandwich. Yeah, we don't tend to eat much right before we go on stage, but afterwards, it's like anything that's in front of us. Pizza, whatever. Yeah, it's just so awesome. Chinese food. Mm.